Good morning, my lovely Group 2s. It is Thursday the 25th of February and we are recapping today writing sentences. So your first challenge for today is to have a look at the picture and it's got some words missing, it's got some gaps. Now it's given you the first sound of every word but I'd like you to see if you can write down some of these words. So for example, can you see at the top it's got the letter S and it is pointing to a sun. I'd like you to see if you can write down the word sun. So you might need to sound out S, A, uh, N, sun and see if you can write it down. Now you don't have to do all of these words, you can just pick and choose some of the ones you want to, but they may help you with your next task. Now, let's see. Ooh. There we go. Your challenge for today is to write a short story about a farm. Now, as you, most of you know, Miss Sanson is quite passionate about farming as she does live on a farm herself. So I'd like you to write a short story about a farm. Now, the words that you have just written may be able to help you with this. Now, it's really important that you remember your capital letters, your full stops, your finger spaces and making sure that your sentences make sense because I don't want to read any sentences and think, my goodness, I don't know what they were meant to be writing there because it doesn't make sense. So it's really important to reread read what you have written. Now, your story can be about anything. It could be all about pigs. It could be all about cows. It could all be about hay. It can be whatever you guys choose it to be. So here is a picture of not a real life farm. I can promise you a farm doesn't really look like that. But it's just to give you some ideas. It's got some different animals and it's got some different buildings. So you can have a think, what do I want to write about the farm? OK, now I'm really, really looking forward to reading these. OK, so if your parents could or your grown up could upload them onto Tapestry, that would be amazing. Now, I know that writing is really hard and it is challenging but I know that you guys can do this. And this is our last phonics lesson of the week. And then next week, we are moving on to a brand new phase three phonics, which is where you'll be learning brand new sounds. So it's really important that I can just check that you guys know how to write your sentences before we can then move on. OK, have a lovely rest of your day, everybody. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.